All right, guys, today we'll be looking at three-dimensional shapes and how you find the faces, edges, vertices um, that they have. So let's just brief overview right quick of this. Whenever you're looking at uh, a shape, and by the way, this is a tetrahedron or a triangular pyramid, which is the simplest one to do. That's why we're starting with it. Now, just for basic overview of vertex, is a plural for... The plural form is vertices, but just one, as you can see, that red dot is just showing that's the singular form of the word. And what a vertex is, is the end of three or more edges. And we see the edges right here are the lines that connect the vertices. So if you have three or more, as you notice, come to a point that is a vertex or vertices if you have more than one in which we do so we look at this right here oh and by the way a cone is the the only one that you're just going to have one vertex so we look at this um, vertex let's count them up one two three four so we have four vertex vertexes or vertices excuse me vertices now the easy way to do this, we know we got a triangular base, so you got three sides, and if you're making a pyramid, you just add one to however many sides you have. So we have so the triangle has three sides, so that's three plus one is four. All right, faces. Faces are 2D figures that make up a three-dimensional object. Now, same little concept here. We have three sides to a triangle, and we have three sides going up. So that means, so you look at your faces, that means that you're going to have one, two, three. And you have to count your bases plus one, which is four. So that just kind of little, little trick there. You got three sides, you got three sides going up, and a base makes four. All right. Now our edges here, we got three sides once again. And we got three sides going up, so that's going to be three plus three is six. Okay, and this just kind of goes into what we were just talking about. Notice we have four. That's what we come up with. Bases, six um, edges, and four vertices. Okay, right here is a square pyramid. So look at the square pyramid. Right here we have our numbers. Well, let's go down here and check this out right quick. I kind of gave you a little preview glimpse there. Let's see how many we got. So we got... How many faces? We got five sides. So that means we got five sides going up and one base. So that means we're going to have five, six faces. Edges. Okay, we got five down here on five sides. Five sides going up. So that means we'll have ten edges. Vertices. We got five sides plus one makes six. So we got how many faces? Six. We got how many edges? 5 plus 5, which is 10 edges. And vertices, we've got 5 plus 1, which is 6. All right, right here, pentagonal base prism. Now, these are a little different than a pyramid because you have two bases. So our faces, we know we got five sides still. So that's five sides going up. So that's five faces plus two bases makes seven faces. Edges. All right, let's look at our edges. We've got five down here. Five up here and five in the middle. You can count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen edges. So five, one, two, three, five times three is fifteen. Vertices, we got five sides down here and five sides up here. So that means we have ten vertices. You can count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. A cuboid, which is the same as a cube as far as faces, edges, and vertices are concerned. Faces, we got two bases, four sides to a rectangle here. So that means you have four sides right here, four faces. That's four plus two is six faces. Edges, we got four on the bottom, one, two, three, four. Four in the middle, four on the top, four 
times 3 is 12. Vertices. We got 4 on the bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 4 times 2 is 8. All right, and if you want to go back and check that one, to make sure that we're correct, you can see 6, 10, and 6, 7, 15, and 10, and we have 6 faces, 12 edges, and 8 vertices. Okay. Look at this one, the cube is the same as before. We had six faces. We had 12 edges. We had eight vertices. Right here we have something a little different, a hexagon. hexagonal base pyramid. And if you know a hexagon, it has six sides. So for our faces, we got six triangular faces going up because we have six sides. Plus one base, which makes seven faces. Edges. All right, same ordeal. We got six sides, six sides going up, which makes 12 edges. Vertices, we got six sides plus one vertice at the vertex at the top. So that's six plus one is seven vertices. All right, and then the prism is a little different because instead of just having two levels, we now have one, two, three levels. Faces, six sides still, but we have two sides right here. Uh, top and a bottom, so that's going to be okay. We got six going around, and you can count them up if you like. Seven, eight faces. Our edges, we got six edges down here, six on the top, and six edges in the middle, which makes six, twelve, eighteen, or six times three is eighteen. Our vertices, we got six vertices on the bottom and six on the top as you can see where it comes to a point one two three one two three you can notice that you got three lines coming through every one of them all right and to go back and check it you can tell right here we got 12 vertices six and six which makes 12 18 edges here we go we got um six six and six Vertice, uh, excuse me, faces, 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 1 is 8. And we got 7 here, just like we went over a second ago. All right. All right, now you guys can try that one right there. I'll just count them up and see if you can get what we were talking about just a moment ago. Um, watch this video as many times as you'd like. And we'll be going over... Um, have some practice for this tomorrow in class.